Hey, it's Jeremy Bowers here. Just want to do a quick video, guys, today for you on actually saving time in the real estate investor world or world or world. Um, I have a lot of experience on the agent side, investor side. I had a team, manager brokerage, now started an investment company, so I've seen it all. Um, bought 10 houses last year, understand what it takes to get the job done. Scaling up this year, um, our goal is to do over 50 turnkey deals, so I understand what it takes to get done and build a real estate investment team and be in a realtor world and do over 100 plus transactions a year, manage over a thousand. That being aside, what are you doing right now to save time? Um, you have to think about it. The number one step that I've learned over the years of saving time is keeping track of what you do on a daily basis is number one. Once you understand what you do, then step two is to understand what you're good at that makes you money and what doesn't. Remember, step two is very important. Just because you're good at it doesn't mean that you should be doing it. What makes you the most amount of money? Step three is what do you enjoy? Now listen, this one's gonna be a little controversial too, it depends on what person you talk to. Some people enjoy doing certain things that make them pretty good money and they'll stay in that bucket a little longer than they should. For me, I love being with people and helping them grow their business. So I like recruiting money, investors, people, and leads. The second thing I like to do is I like to train. The third thing I like to do is I like to invest in real estate buying rentals and flips. See, I understand my three unique abilities that I want to do and I try to stay in those buckets. I'm not the best at it. I make mistakes all the time getting out of it. But when the, the next step that I do once I make that mistake is I go back to my notebook and I start keeping track of what I'm doing and what I'm not doing. I'll give an example going on Facebook too much. Right now, I took the app off my phone, put it back on, probably should take it back off, spending too much time on Facebook. I love Facebook, I get a ton of business. The problem is that busy time, it's a drug. All of a sudden, just clicking off for five minutes here, here, and here, next thing you know, you waste X amount of time in a day. I love to get back to only checking out three times a day, just like email. So number one is find out what you're good at and find out where you make the most amount of money. Number two is find out what's sucking your time and try to replace that with a person. And this is an issue that I had for many years is not putting people in place to take your business to the next level. This has really hit home for me this year. Find your five key people to take your business to the next level. Find people smarter than you, find other people that do things better than you, put them in place and invest in them. Put the money in the bank or invest in people. And what I'm starting to do and understand is great having money in the bank, but I need to start reinvesting more money in people to scale that business up and to put the things in place that I want to do in my life and allow that person to totally enjoy that, to enjoy their life and get to the next step in their life. It's really a win-win being selfish in the standpoint of giving up what you used to do to someone else because they enjoy it. I was with a guy today and he was explaining to me what he really, really loves to do. And I'm thinking to him in the car ride over here, I'm like, you know what? Those things that you really, really enjoy like doing, I can do some of them. That's not my unique ability. I need to put that on your plate. And I work with two people now and they're partners in my new business. And I watch them do that. We're finding key people and putting them in place. Just like Shark Tank, right? You find the right people and you leverage them. Everybody can win and make out much better. So I just want you guys to think about that today. Number one, Find out where you're spending your time. And the second part, figure out your unique ability. But when you figure out your unique ability, make sure you're making money on it and you're not wasting time. Making money, I mean max money. Not making your minimum money. Figure out what your max money is and make sure that you're spending that time. Otherwise, your other option is to work all your life and to not enjoy your life and work 12 to 18 hours a day. I'm working a ton now to build a business for the future, but I want to bring the right people in place so they can take that pressure off and they can do what they enjoy and then I can do even more of what I enjoy. I hope that helps. If you want more information, Jeremy Bowers on Facebook, YouTube, and hit me up, Jeremy at TCSMGT.com. I have a turnkey real estate investing business, a wholesale business, uh, a realtor, or it's not a realtor business, excuse me, a rental business and a um, flipping business and been doing this for a long time and love to get back. Thanks again, bye.